try this is Jax here in my kitchen today we are going to learn how to make a 1700 drink or it's also called a shrub I thought it was interesting when I ran into these on YouTube I'm like hey I want to try that so I did and it was delicious I made the first one I made was strawberry now today we're gonna to be making a blueberry ginger lemon and a pineapple one what is a shrub? A shrub is basically a fermented or slightly fermented fruit with vinegar and honey. So it's a good source of probiotics, a good source of digestion. Okay, whatever. And all you're gonna need is some honey, some raw local honey, some apple cider vinegar. I like to get the, um, the kind that has the mother in it, which is all the good enzymes. Um, and make sure it's organic. And some fruit, any fruit will work, any combination of fruit. You just need to make sure it's nice and mushed up. So this one I went and put through the processor. It's actually like a blender, like I mean, you can use a Ninja or Vitamix. And then here's my pineapple. So you wanna make sure your fruit is mashed up. Now, what they did was they didn't have a way to preserve things. They didn't have a refrigerator, obviously. So this is an amazing way to get an amazing syrup that you can keep up to two months, so anywhere between six to eight weeks in your refrigerator or even out, a little bit less, obviously, um, out, but it's a good way to ferment these fruits. You take the syrup and then you have an amazing kombucha. If you're, it's almost like a kombucha, except kombuchas are probably um, are fermented longer. So this is a very basic fermentation process for a, a drink that is delicious and nutritious. <laughs> okay, so let's get started. So what you're gonna need, you're gonna need a jar. And for this recipe, you need equal parts. So one to one to one ratio. So let's go ahead and start with the um, pineapple. So you're gonna, I have my one cup of pineapple here and you're just gonna dump it in your jar. So you're gonna dump it here. Now, they do make a um, some type of drink or some kind of like um, alcoholic beverage with this. They used to add rum or whiskey, I don't know, as a way to, uh, for medicine, I guess, I think. Look it up, look up shrub 1700 drink, and you're gonna find all the amazing facts about this amazing drink. And since we're in a time of uncertainty, this is an amazing way to get rid of all your juices and bring in some amazing other ways to bring in probiotics. Now, after the um, the syrup is made, you take a little bit and you mix it with sparkling water. That gives it like a natural soda type of vibe. So I'm not gonna go ahead and... There's a chunk of pineapple in here still. That's okay. I'm gonna stir that up. And then all you're gonna do is put your lid on it. You're gonna, you don't even need to label. Well, you can because you wanna know what type of fruit you're doing. So put your lid on it, put pineapple on it, pineapple shrub, and you're gonna put set it on your counter for three days. So next we're gonna make the blueberry ginger lemon. I'm excited about that one. That's really good, gonna be good for the tummy. Um, so you want to leave this out on your countertop for three days. And every time you see it, when you walk by the counter, give it a good shake. So you're gonna shake this up every day as when you see it, and then you're gonna put it in the refrigerator for about six to eight weeks. The longer you leave it, the longer um, it's going to ferment, and then you're gonna start getting some type of, uh, um, like a vinegar type of thing going on. So after three days, you're going to strain it. You can use a cheesecloth, a, a fine mesh strainer, and there's my one cup of fruit. And then we're gonna add our honey. So I, as I was saying, this is an amazing way to bring in delicious drinks for the summertime. Um, they used to use it out in the fields during gardening time because it was a a refreshing way to um, quench your thirst. And then my cup of vinegar. And the way you mix it is, you literally only need three tablespoons of the syrup, 
to a cup of sparkling water. Now you don't have to use sparkling water. You can use regular water if you want, then it'll be just like a juice. But I'm telling you, if you use a sparkling water, it'll be like a soda. The nice thing about these um, shrubs is that you can literally use any type of fruit that's in season. And you can have a few at a time and you don't have to worry about them going bad right away. They'll last you about two weeks, literally. That's we went through our first batch in two weeks. So this is an amazing way to get, to use up your extra fruits. And then all you do, again, put your lid on it and then you're gonna label it. And that's how you make a 1700s, and actually they did it in the 1800s as well. Um, they did this drink, pineapple shrub, blueberry lemon shrub. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a try. I'm sure you're gonna like it. If you don't like sparkling water, just use plain water. I know some people are weird about sparkling water. I love sparkling water. But this is an amazing way to make natural soda that your kids and everyone in your family will enjoy. All right, well, shalom. Get to prepping, get in the kitchen, make some of the stuff, practice, 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 and try to be self-reliant, all right? All right, shalom.